Rangers 2, Brucey at Dortmund 2. Doing Scotland proud. Yes. Um, Unlike those unwashed, smelly bastards from across the city, by the way. Exactly. Celtic, jobbing out Scotland. Rangers flying the flag high, even though maybe the Union Jack knows the Scottish one. Do, 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 do. But banter aside. Great. If, it was, if it was a touching kids competition, I'm sure Celtic would have qualified tonight, but they didn't. They got humped 5-1 in aggregate. Rangers are through. Rangers are a good team, even though I pretty much bash them every single video. But see before, Respect to Rangers. See before we talk league. about the Rangers, let's just break down that, because you didn't talk about the Celtic one, I just did. Five fucking one and I against a team that's not that good. I mean, when when the draw was made, I wouldn't have looked past five one on aggregate to Celtic, but uh, I certainly wasn't expecting it to be five one no, to both. But see fans. all these Celtic fans turn around and say, "Oh, they're a good outfit for Norway, right?" No, they, let's be real. We'll probably underrated them. They're a good outfit, but it's still embarrassing losing five one. No, but aggregate. the way Celtic fans are making it as if, "Oh." They're better than Dortmund. That's that, that's what they're fucking getting on like. Bodo Glimp smashed Bruce here and um, Glodden back 6-0 the weekend, did they? Did exactly. They? Did they? Aye. They didn't. Anyway, Celtic are pissed. They'll just focus on the league. But I think... I mean, I did say Celtic would win the league. And if you don't believe me, go and check out a video I uploaded on, I believe, in August. Just putting that out there, right? He so, did. But i tell you what, guys. See Celtic. See as soon as a team goes at their defence, the horse collapses. You've seen that. See Rangers when they get beat 3-0. Rangers did fuck all towards their defence. To be fair, I think it was, who was it, James McFadden said that if Celtic play, if Celtic won the league and they play the way they're trying to play now under Poster all in the Champions League next year, they'll get smashed every game. Oh, they will. I think you said that actually last week to me. Yeah, I did. It's true. Like, I mean, I mean, I like I like his style, and I you know I like the fact that he likes to go for it, but um, you know, I think he needs to maybe change his approach. No, but that's why I kind of dis- Well, I don't disagree. He doesn't need to change his approach. I feel like against maybe Bo- he just needs to buy better defenders. I feel like against Bodo Glimp, they should be able to play that way and win. Uh. Yeah, but like the, Rangers played that way McFadden's against Dortmund. Point Rangers was, have played that way against Dortmund. But end to end and won. But McFadden's point was if they can't, if they can't, if they play end to end against Bodo Glimp and get smashed, then what are they going to do in the Champions PSG. League? PSG uh, against the Twinkies. That's team. what I'm saying. I just feel like Rangers. Well, maybe not PSG. They're a bit pish. Like, I mean, but, the, uh, the league's uh, not done, teams. right? Of course, the league's not done. But I just feel like Rangers in the Champions League. I think they could. There's a realistic chance they could make it into the next stage. With Celtic, I just think they're going to finish last. The, the goal difference will be shocking. My prediction, Rangers win the Europa League and Scotland get two teams automatically into the Champions League group stage. There you go, boom. There you go. Heard it here first. But we've spent two and a half minutes talking about Celtic. Talking utter dog shit. So we're going to talk about this game. Rangers start it off strong. Dortmund also. But then... There's, there, there, there's uh, three words that you never really hear, but you heard them tonight. Penalty to Rangers. And uh, yes, it was apparently Kent Day and his magic. Ref points to the spot. We VAR check, but it was wiped clean. Tav steps up. 50,000 people. Bang, good night. 1 0. The yellow wall has been smashed by Captain Tav. And then you're thinking, right, Rangers, Dortmund need three goals here. And then what happens? Pish bit of defending for Connor Goldson. Bellingham makes it one each. You're thinking, right, dig deep. Connor Goldson out of contract in the summer, but he was almost out of contract here. In late February, after he conceded this yeah, goal. Exactly, you're thinking, right, Rangers, just keep it at 1 1. Our field, great opportunity, a, a great play, and instead of just squaring in Kent, he goes for the shot himself, and it fucked up. You know, albeit it didn't really matter in the end, but yeah, but then Dortmund go up and make it 2 1 literally immediately after. At this that. stage, I think everyone thought. I Dortmund's. thought at half time, fuck, they're out. Even Van Bronckhorst is sitting there thinking that's us fucked now. I know, they're all like, oh, the team talk, he got into them at half time, now he went in and said we're fucked. <laughs> We're beat lads, it was a it was a good try, but it is all over. In the impact zone. But they come out in the second half and they stepped up a gear. It was like the the first well not that they were pish in the first half, it was just a bit defensively poor. You know? Like if Arfield scores at the Kent, they probably go in leading it for half time, you get me? But no, they make it two each. Another Tavernier goal. Absolutely unreal play here. Hummels all over the place. Now, Morelos is dominating fucking world class defenders here. Like They've got Mare- you've got Hummels and then the other two guys that are well not world class but they're like promising work like S- Sagadu and the other guy whatever you fucking pronounce their names I mean they're pretty I mean they're like seven, they're like 18, 21 years of age but in FIFA they're like 79 so that's how you know they're going to be so decent I think, I think, I think, I think, you know what I mean and Morelos is bullying them like all three of them Kent absolutely ran the show no Mare- bad for a public nope Morelos takes the ball off Chan squares it to Kent 3-2 Irox is roaring another win against Dortmund oh what's that VAR did you see it Aye, just fucking disgrace. disgrace. I don't know what they've seen. Because then they showed an angle where it was like 100% proof that he put it Morelos. But, he, but they never showed him that? I think Scottish football's better without VR, to be honest. VR, every time I watch VR, it's 
So if they get it wrong, it's like, fuck me. I, I wouldn't say they get more than... I mean, but to me, there's been more questions. It's not like VAR gets it wrong, it's the referee. But then they, get, they didn't show the referee the angle, like, the angle that confirmed it. No, but the thing is, without VAR, I can understand, you know, referees making mistakes and getting tight calls wrong. But when you've got VAR, there's just no excuse. When you've got a frame frame rate and you're, you're freezing it, I mean, come on, you should you need to get everything correct, especially like offsides and that. I know, but... I'd fuck VAR. I'm glad Scotland's a poor country that can't afford it. Exactly, but uh, to be honest, though, Dortmund didn't really have any too many chances that threatened McGregor. They had 16 shots to Rangers 11, but Rangers got the job done in the end. They got over the line. I feel Morelos, Tav and uh, Kent were absolutely unplayable tonight. Unplayable! Um, not that everyone else was pish, but Barisic was a wee bit fucking yellow. It has been a wee bit ropey. You get me? But it says here, the last 16 is only top teams. And you've got to agree with that, man. There's some decent opposition, in, especially since it's a conference league. There's literally, like, no jobbers are going to, you know what I mean, get sneaked through. But well the, re- well, the real Aaron Ramsey, please stand up here and fucking announce yourself on the latter stages of the Europa League. That is it. But anyway, in terms of teams that have went through, Porto, Sofia... Atlanta, Leipzig, Barca, Rangers, um, Real Betis have knocked out Senate, which I'm pretty sure UEFA will be ecstatic about, because right. Russia. Any U- Ukrainian teams still in there? Uh, fuck, I don't think so. Uh, well, actually, I don't know, because obviously you've got teams that finished top and are already through. Aye. Mm-hmm. And then Sport and Braga have beat Sheriff on penalties. Oh, I'd say be so I just, Ukrainian like... Team in there, like- but these are all playoff teams, like you know what I mean? Like fuck, I can't even remember some of the teams at West Ham. I'm pretty sure got through. Um, I can't really, I can't get any other team. Leverkusen. Not bragging like by one my Europa League group in uh, the Hearts football manager save. So that's no bad. But I tell you what, it's no bad. I honestly don't think. I mean, I'm not saying Dortmund had the greatest two legs of all time, but I don't think there's a team here that Rangers should be fucking fearing. No. Nope. Like, the not only s- thing I would say is Barcelona have got better as of late. Yes. Signing Traore and Aubameyang, that's fucking... I think Xavi is an improvement on what they had. Yeah, Six it? months ago, though, you wouldn't have feared Barca. No. So. Yeah, but six years ago, your arse would have collapsed. I mean, that's just the Six dick. months ago, mate. I know, yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. You mm-hmm. wouldn't have feared them. Now you fear them, but not much. But six years ago, you just would have been like, no. Six years ago, you'd have needed to hear penalty to Rangers about ten times. <laughs> That would have just been a scrape of draw. (laughs) But on that note, guys, it's over. Rangers are through. Celtic have jobbed out Scotland. Any closing thoughts, big man? We'll be back with the draw tomorrow. I think we all know who Scotland's shame really is. It's the Mankey Mob. We all knew it was the Kenny Fiddlers. We didn't need this 5-1 result. We knew it was the Kenny Fiddlers. Well, I suppose. (laughs) At least if if they got the coefficient up, we might have made a a claim for them. But uh, no, they didn't. They jobbed us out. It's fucking shocking they're a record in Europe. It honestly is. I mean, they can talk about that away win in Lazio like two years ago, but see at the end, that's 5-1 in aggregate to this team. Ever since the, the disco lights were bought for the Champions League nights, they've went to absolute shit. Have they no. even had a Champions League night since then? I know. Like, let's be real. What happened to the Celtic team that were pissed but used to be able to go to Barcelona and you feel like, oh, Celtic Park could get a result? Like, Rangers get beat by Malmo, what was it, 4 2? I thought that was shit, but I'd say Malmo are better than Bodo Glimp, like. Mm, I would have maybe said that, like, but I don't know, based on. I don't know, I think, I think that may be harsh. I don't know, but my point is, you look at the form that Celtic have been in, and they've been beat 5 3 1 at home? Fuck me! Ah, it's no great, guys, is it? It is, it? It's no great. It's but no... speaking of home. Got some home fixtures coming up this weekend. Rangers at home against Motherwell. Celtic travel to Hibernian. And that will be the next round of Scottish Premiership games. We were talking about in the Celtic game that the team he's picked was a series resting players for the, the Hibs game. Well, maybe he thought the, the damage was already done going through tonight. But is, I mean, you need two goals to take it to actually, against Yeah, Bodo. well, no, I, I can actually see that. Those Celtic are pissing your away from home. If it was at Celtic Park tonight, maybe... I wouldn't be surprised if he's thought, you know what, fuck it. I'll accept going out here. I know, but that's embarrassing. I'm sorry. It is embarrassing, but here, what would you... Who's going to have the better season? If Rangers if Rangers go to the next round and Celtic go on and win the league, I mean, who's going to have the bragging rights? It's true. Very true. But on that note, guys, Celtic aren't winning the league. Rangers are winning the league. They're winning the Europa League, damn it. They're, doing the, they're doing the treble. Oh, aye. The real treble. Ryan one one eight. Can Celtic do the quad? No. <laughs> no. 
quad. Kevin Ash's quads, maybe. It is pretty. No, I mean, I'm sorry. Like Celtic have blown their quads. They couldn't make it past the playoff round of the co- the conference fucking league. Getting the bin to that next. You ain't give fucking hearts a chance of winning the conference league. Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. And these pricks can't. <sighs> Embarrassing. Till next time. Peace.